Well, I'm delighted to say we can now speak to Susanna Reid, uh, who, of course, morning to you, Susanna. Morning. Morning. Lovely this is where to it all see. Started here at Television Centre on well, that BBC Breakfast sofa. I was just thinking exactly that. You must be. I know this. That is your home now for your broadcasting. But you must be thinking. Many was the the, the time <laughs> when you'd arrive there in the early hours of the morning, and Bill would be turning up, and you'd be doing a show together. What are your thoughts? Well, you know what? That theme music that you had at the end of that tribute to Bill is absolutely perfect. You're the best, because he really was the best. He was the funniest, he was the kindest, he was the most supportive, and he was the most generous. And that's no disrespect to any of my other former and present TV husbands, including you, Charlie, but um, Bill really was the person who taught me everything. I met him almost 30 years ago, about more than 25 years ago in, in Washington DC when he was the BBC News Washington correspondent and I was ever so intimidated by him because you know as we know he was a stickler for detail and he had very exacting standards but he was also incredibly supportive I think everybody on the program working there now would acknowledge he was a mentor he uh, gave excellent advice he, you wanted to meet his high standards and most of all, he was just great fun to work with. We did challenges with him, didn't we? We did Come Dine With Me uh, for BBC Breakfast. We did, you know, we got on those crazy racing bikes without brakes and went hell for leather around the Manchester Velodrome. He threw himself into everything, but he also kept it all in perspective. He never took himself too seriously, even though he took the job incredibly seriously. It was only telly to him. He wanted it to be excellent television. He wanted to make sure everybody enjoyed it. But his priority was his home life and his wonderful, wonderful family. He was the best. My recollection, Susanna, and we are mixing up real emotions here this morning with, frankly, a lot of fun. My recollection yeah. of that Come Dine With Me experience, which I think was in your house when Bill arrived and he caused chaos. He didn't he mm. immediately smash, he smashed things, didn't he? Glasses or something, it all kicked off. <laughs> yeah, he smashed a wine glass. But you might remember, Charlie, that after we did Come Dine With Me, he then replaced that one wine glass with a set of six beautiful wine glasses. He was just the perfect gentleman uh, and he was, as I say, incredibly generous. The other thing, you know, that that um, tribute that you just ran reminded me of was how his dogs were such an important part of his life. And he was so welcoming at his home. When we all moved up to Salford, he invited me and my family, my children, to his home to spend the day with Ceci and uh, the dogs. Now, my middle son at the time was absolutely petrified of any animals. We couldn't have a pet at home. He would be scared if there was a cat in the garden and he was literally sitting in the kitchen. And Bill very gently took that in hand and he encouraged my son to throw a ball for Bonnie, Bill's beloved black lab. And by the end of that day, my son had completely lost his fear of dogs. We were able to have a cat at home. He was like, um, he was like the child whisperer or the dog whisperer or Dr. Doolittle. I mean, he could converse with the animals. He was amazing. They were so important to him. And he wanted everybody to have that same experience. You know, Susanna, um, sitting next to him was always an experience. It was a joy. Um, but he was <laughs> a really robust and rigorous journalist, above all, wasn't he, who cared mm. about the audience. And he never, ever forgot yeah. that. No, and he wouldn't hold back from asking really tough questions. Um, he interviewed some pretty tricky characters and he was utterly firm and determined, while at the same time always remaining polite. And then he could switch from being the incisive interviewer to falling about laughing with someone like Kevin Hart, I remember, on the programme, who just had him in absolute stitches. And there were, you'll remember this, Naga, there were times when you knew you were on the brink of perhaps having a bit of a giggle. <laughs> but if you looked across and Bill was already laughing, 
there was going to be no stopping you and you, it almost gave you license to let go and having a giggle with Bill was as much about what he was to the viewers as doing those sharp, incisive, journalistic interviews. Um, Susanna, we're remembering, obviously, we're paying tribute to Bill and we're remembering him. And, and you know, actually, the impact of Bill's um, prostate cancer diagnosis is, is living on. We've had people email in, you can imagine, and get in touch. Family was so important to him, wasn't it? I mean, that's the bubble. We, we're doing this with the blessing of his family as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his wife, Ceci, he was devoted to her. They had, I think, the strongest marriage I have seen in the business. And he was absolutely committed to his children. They were a wonderful family. Um, incredibly supportive of him they were so proud of him and he was just endlessly proud of them they were all welcoming to me um, I've been in touch obviously with Ceci since the news and, and with typical Grace she's been incredibly generous to me since we've all heard the news of, of his death and you know I hope I can take this opportunity as I know you would have done to just send my love to them. I, d I can't imagine what life without Bill is going to be like for them. We know how hard it is going to be for viewers and for his fans and those of us who work with him and loved, loved him as a colleague, as a friend. But my heart goes out to his family. He was, a, he was the best. He was the best. It's very, very well said, Susanna. Can I just say, Bill would appreciate that your emotional tribute was being interrupted by some construction work in the background there. <laughs> uh, uh, how very fitting. Yes, he would. <laughs> Do you know what? As we came on air, I thought exactly that. <laughs> That's what happens in live broadcasting. Embrace it. Always embrace it, Susanna. It's lovely talking to you. Thank you. Exactly right. Lovely talking to you. Thank you.